Hey YT fam, this is your girl Monica, aka The Return Queen, and I'm coming at you guys with my January favorites. Um, I did just record a video, um, my favorites, the hair edition, so that should be uploading soon. Um, but I did want to come to you guys really quick with just a couple of things that I have been enjoying for the month of January. Um, first off, I have been really enjoying my MAC um, Studio Fix in um nw45 you guys and if you remember or you've been watching me for a while this was one of my very very first um purchases from mac and i just i didn't enjoy it for some reason and i just kind of like put it to the side and didn't use it because it seemed like it made me look too red or whatever the case may be but i just don't know i don't i don't know if it's because i've lightened my hair or whatever the case may be, but this has been my go-to. I had sprayed my face with a little bit of Fix Plus and used this only, and I've just really, really been loving it, you guys. Really been loving it. Um, palettes or eyeshadows of choice that I have been loving. I have absolutely been loving my Lorac Pro palette, you guys. This is This was the purchase of the year for me for 20 um 2012 the purchase of the year was this Lorac Pro palette. I absolutely love this thing. Um it's not a color in here that has disappointed me. Um my favorite go-to would probably be um Garnet. I use Garnet a lot. I use Mauve a lot. But um as you can see all of them have, you know, a little bit of denting in it. I I've been enjoying it, you guys. Another palette that I purchased at the end of last year that I have absolutely been enjoying is my Urban Decay Smoke Palette. This color, Mushroom, is my go-to. Y'all look at that. I already got somewhat of a dent in there. That's my go-to color when I am just like... You remember how I used to say that Outre was by MAC was my go-to color? But this is my one that I just use and slap it on really quick and go on about my business. So I love Mushroom by um, um, Urban Decay. Another thing that I have fallen back in love with, you guys, I kind of like purchased them all and used them for a minute when the hype was there and kind of let them fall by the wayside. But I've picked them back up. My lip butters, I'm really enjoying them once again, you guys. Um, I have on one today. And the one that I have on today is in um, the color Tutti Fruity. And it looks like this right here, just an um, a orange color. And then another favorite of mine is Raspberry Pi. I have been using the heck out of this Raspberry Pi one. And as you can see, you guys, the color pigmentation in these things is amazing. So, you know, it's just like lipstick, but you're getting that moisturizing, buttery feel on your lips. Um, My blush of choice was another one that I had kind of like purchased it and just put it away I, I i purchased it and really didn't even use it when i purchased it i just purchased it but it is um by ben nye and it's called red brown and i have been using the heck out of this blush right here it just like i think i was just sitting up one day and i was going through my I guess when i did the sale i was going through my stuff and just kind of looking at what i had left and putting stuff in different places and ran across it and I was like, wait a minute, why hadn't I been using this? But yeah, that's it right there. And this blush is, oh my God, it looks so good. It looks so good on my skin. I just, I absolutely love it. Um, Two lipsticks that have been my go-to lipsticks have been, and I backed to MAC for this one a while ago. It's been High Tea by MAC and I like this one simply because it's just one of those slap it on type colors God, let me see I'm trying to get y'all the best okay yeah it's just one of those slap it on your lip type colors and it just looks really really good it's like the perfect um, my lips were better type color and then I have been enjoying Hot Chocolate. Now, Hot Chocolate was just released with one of the collections. Don't ask me the name of the collection because I'm not going to be able to tell you. But, um, yeah, that's what Hot Chocolate looks like. It's just a mauve -y 
brownie, whatever. It's just yummy. Yummy is the only way that I could describe hot chocolate. I've been wearing this thing like crazy. I had to lay off of it because I don't want to run out of it, you guys. Um, because it was limited edition and I've been topping hot chocolate and I put this combo on my Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram I've changed my name again now my Instagram name is just Monica 247 so yeah I'm going through some things but that's richly revered on top of um on top of hot chocolate and that has been my go-to lip combo like every day almost but yeah, so hot chocolate and richly revered um, on top of hot chocolate. And richly revered came out last year, I think, with the Mac Me Over. And I could be wrong about that. But anyway, another thing that I have been enjoying is I did a swap at the end of the year uh, with a one of the fellow makeup mavens. And um, she was looking for something. And I had what she was looking for. And she sent me samples of... Ben Eye Powders that I have absolutely been enjoying, you guys. I mean, it beats going out and buying the big old container of, of um, Ben Eye Powders that you will never in life get through unless you're using them on yourself and someone else. But she sent me a, you know, a good bit of powder in these little stackable containers. And at first, I was excited to give Topaz a try. But one thing that I noticed with Topaz is that I hate these little containers, though. Seriously, you lose. So I'm not going to even open it because you lose product every time you open it. But I was excited about trying Topaz because I heard a lot about, you know, Topaz. Try Topaz, try Topaz if the banana is giving you whatever. But I enjoy the banana. So the banana doesn't give me like a certain effect that I don't enjoy. So, but like I said, I was excited to try Topaz. But Topaz was too red on me i think topaz gave me a it, it done something it done something but whatever the case may be so far clay is my color now clay has a bit it's a i'm gonna have to open it so you guys can see the difference in topaz and clay i'm hitting it so i don't lose so much product when i but yeah so see See how clay is just a little bit warmer? Yeah, so clay works perfect for me. It is my perfect color. I have been absolutely enjoying that Ben Eye Powder in clay. And then um, this one down here at the bottom in ebony. I didn't even know ebony. I didn't even know one in ebony existed. But ebony is the perfect. I'm going to swatch a little bit of ebony. I'm going to change the container out on these things as soon as I find something else to put it in because, yeah, like I said, it's just, I, I just lose product every time I open it. But ebony swatches like that. And ebony is the perfect contour for me. Can you, can you see that? Yeah, but ebony is the perfect contour for me. I've contoured with it for a couple, you know, a couple of times, and it is the absolute perfect um, contour color for me. So, hey, like I said, I am enjoying um, these little Ben Eye banana powders. And then um, to step away from makeup for a second and show you guys a couple of other things that I have been enjoying, I have fallen. Fallen in love with this Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap, you guys. This stuff, and I have it in the 18-in-1 Hip Peppermint. I love it. Love it. I'm talking about squeaky clean is what it leaves your and body. This stuff is amazing amazing you guys, but you do have to remember that we are females and don't go playing with this stuff because it's peppermint. It's peppermint. We females. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Be careful with this. But at the same time, it leaves you squeaky clean. And it's amazing. Smells amazing. And you just, you can't go wrong with this right here. It's a really, really awesome, awesome soap. And I have been enjoying using it with my bath gloves. You guys, these things, oh my God, I'm talking about 
everyday exfoliation. They lather up a bar of soap. If you're going to use a bar of soap, they lather up a bar of soap like nobody's business. And yeah, I'm talking about getting off those layers of skin. You know, you guys, have you ever gone to the, have you ever gotten out the shower, lotioned up, done whatever you're going to do about your day, go get a pedicure and you get to the pedicure place and you know, your water is a little, yeah, I don't like that. I hate that. Like, I, I will go without putting lotion on because I feel like when you walk out the house, all, everything that's going to, you're going to walk to your car is going to pile the lotion up or whatever the case may be. I, I just don't like it. I want to be clean, feel clean, have myself come across as being clean. I don't want that. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I'll scrub 10 layers off with these little gloves if I can. And like I say, this little soap right here, you guys... So, yeah, um, I've been absolutely enjoying um, that little combo together. Another thing that I've been enjoying is uh, Purr by Katy Perry. This smells so good. So, 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 so good. I got this big old bottle from Ross, I think, for like $19.99, you guys. Um, but, yeah, I've been enjoying the heck out of Purr by Katy Perry. And yeah, you guys, that is it for my favorites video. Um... I, that's it. I didn't want to make it too, too long. I didn't really want to add as much in here as I did. But hey, you know, I try to, I want to come and do like, this is my one favorite. Yay. But I feel like I had a mix of different things that I hadn't shown before. And those are things that I've absolutely been loving um, for the past couple of months, actually. And yeah, so that is it, you guys. Remember, like I always say, if they can't handle you at your worst, they don't deserve you at your best. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye.